boys and girls. Welcome to story time. I'm Miss June, children's librarian at the Rutland Free Library. Today we can sing some songs together. I have a book to read to you and then I have an idea for a craft that you may want to try. So let's sing Here We Are Together so we can say good morning to everyone. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, so let's say hello. Hello. Hello, boys and girls. Glad you came to story time today. Let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above our world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, I know a song we haven't sung in a long time. I think we have forgotten about singing the alphabet song. Let's do that today. Think of what your favorite letter of the alphabet may be. Maybe it's the first letter in your name. We'll start together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? Okay. Today's book, boys and girls, is a book, a new book at the library. It's called One Fox. And there's the fox. A counting book thriller. And the author of the book and the illustrator of the book is Kate Reed. She wrote the words in the book and she also made the pictures. And she made the pictures in this book, you may want to think about this as we're reading it together, using paint and collage. So she used paint and she also used pieces of paper. Those look like many, many footprints. I wonder whose footprints. Do you think they're fox prints? Here's the letter one. One famished fox. What does that word mean? Books are a great way to learn new words. Do you ever say, I'm famished? If you do, you know that when you say, I'm famished, you mean I'm very hungry. One famished fox. Two, shall we count them? Two sly eyes. Two tricky eyes. One, two. There's the letter two. One famished fox. Two tricky, two sly eyes. Three, shall we count? One, two, three, plump. Hens. They're very round or plump. Oops, I almost missed a page. What comes after three? Four. Four padding paws. Fox walks very quietly on padding paws. Five snug eggs. How many? One, two, three, four, five. Five cozy or snug eggs. Six silent steps. Where's the fox going? I think. 
seven knocks at the door. Do you have a place you could knock? We could knock seven times. Seven knocks at the door. Seven. <gasps> Eight beady eyes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, seven, eight. Is that the fox? Eight beady eyes. Nine flying feathers. <gasps> Ten sharp teeth. Shall we check and make sure there are ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wonder how many feathers. Shall we count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. Nine is one less than ten. Oh my gosh, I can't count that many chickens. How many chickens do you think are there? Oh, what number is that? 100 angry hens. Look at that, there's the fox. And one frightened fox. Oh, and look at all the chicken tracks. And it says, no hens or foxes were harmed in the making of this book. The end. One fox. And that's a new book at the library. So last week, if you were here for story time, we did make an origami fox. And this week, I decided I'd start to make a flock of chickens. I didn't make 100. How many did I make? One, two. But you could make, I think you should have the materials at home to do this easily. I made a shape of a chicken out of a piece of paper. And then I decided to decorate it in some way and I decided to decorate my chicken with egg shapes. So I made lots of egg shapes on this chicken. And to make my chicken stand up, I took a piece of paper, a piece of heavy, heavy paper cardstock, folded it in half and made a snip so I could stick my chicken right in there. And then the chicken will stand up. So that chicken, and you can make your shape any shape. It might be um, just like the chickens in the book. It might be a plump chicken, or it might be a slimmer chicken. And this chicken I decorated with some paint splatter. I had an old toothbrush at my house, and I put a little paint on the bristles and when I ran my thumb across it, the paint splattered onto my chicken. And that's how I decided to decorate that one. And then I made a little feather right there. So those are one, two chickens, not nearly the 100 chickens that were in our book today called One Fox by Kate Reed. So that's the end of today's story time, boys and girls. I hope you had fun, and I hope you have fun at play today. Thank you for joining us. Bye.